Hi and welcome students. So I know some of you are getting ready and writing your final draft to your resume right now. I wanted to go over some tips and some things to keep in mind, not only for writing your final resume in this class, but also as you continue to find a job once you graduate from college. Let's go ahead and get started. So preferably, your resume should be no longer than two pages. Most of the time, you can get done with whatever you uh, have as far as experience, education, background. You can get that done in two pages. Now, keep in mind that this uh, can be an exception if you're looking for government or education jobs. If the requirements for the job are very, very long and you need to explain that over multiple pages, uh, more than two pages, that may happen for government and education jobs. So just keep that in mind. Many employers say they prefer one-page one resumes. Think about it. If you were an employer and you saw uh, resume after resume after resume, chances are you're going to want to read the uh, nicely formatted one-page resumes first rather than uh, basically going over and looking at uh, two, three, four multiple page resumes, right? So uh, do not condense your resume to one page at the expense of re readability. So uh, I don't want you to take like a page and a half and reduce it down to one page because that's not going to look good. Again, formatting is very important on a resume and making sure that it has a picture frame look and it's appealing to the eye and somebody's encouraged to look at it uh, when they see it on the piece of paper or a PDF in front of them, that's extremely important as well. Okay, uh, If your resume is on two pages, make sure that the uh, header or the footer on page two says your name and page two. Right? If the employer separates the pages or a page falls down, they're going to want to know whose resume that was a part of. So definitely make sure that you put a header or a footer on there. If you need help with that, you know this channel has uh, Microsoft Word tutorials, so make sure you look at the header and footer video that I made a while back. So uh, another thing that I wanted to be very clear about while we get ready to go into interviews in our classes, uh, US News and World Report has reported that a surprising number of applicants are telling lies on their resume. Well, remember, uh, if you're telling lies on your resume, that's not a good thing, right? You don't want to get caught. You don't want to uh, basically you know, lie on your resume because you're going to have to back that up in the interview. Uh, Wisconsin headhunter checks the education claims of on 300 or so executive resumes that he gets annually, 23% awarded themselves fictitious degrees. That tells you that it is happening, people do double check on it, um, an employer is not going to be happy with you if you put a fake degree on your resume. So don't do it. Uh, once you start to lie either in your resume or you start to lie in your interview, those lies add up and you have to try to keep them going and trust me it's better to just uh, be truthful on your both your resume and during the interview. Uh, it's riskier than ever to lie because it's becoming much easier to fact check, right? You can't just uh, uh, go in there and lie about a, a degree that you have because most of the time uh, you're going to have to provide transcripts if they do feel that you're lying, right? Uh, you're going to have to back up what's on your resume. So transcripts are easy to get, right? You can get them online and uh, employers ask for electronic copies. I know employers of mine have, uh, you know, in the private sector, they've asked for electronic copies, so even unofficial copies. So you have to keep that in mind. So again, make sure that you check those little formatting things and check uh, out as far as being accurate on your resume and during the interview as well. And that's going to get you a lot further uh, than trying to present something that you're not on your resume. So anyway, uh, best of luck to all of you as you continue to write your resumes. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Uh, I'll be happy to respond to you. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.